the first step is to thoroughly clean your emblem. I'm going to use simple green today and spray it off pretty good. Get a good rubbing, make sure that all the bug guts and any dirt that's on the logo are off. And then after that, it's recommended to use isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and go over the logo thoroughly with that just to make sure that all the uh, extra dirt and lint and that type of stuff is off of the sticking area. So go over real quick. Rubbing alcohol dries pretty quickly by itself, but I'll still give it a little once over with my dry side of the rag. Step two of the process is to take the vinyl and cut it down to approximately one to two inches larger than the emblem on the car that you'll be masking out. first thing to do is to take your vinyl and peel it off the backer. If you have trouble getting off the edge, you can use an X-Acto knife to poke the edge to pull it up off the backer. Done. Then what you want to do is you want to take the vinyl over the logo and lay it down on one side of the logo. I'm going to do the right side first. So I'm just going to kind of smooth it out there and then make sure that you go over it really good with your fingers and that all the air bubbles are actually out of from underneath. If there are any air bubbles, like there is right here, I'm going to peel this up. It peels up easily. And then you can go down again over it, making sure that all the air bubbles are out. On the left side, sometimes, depending on the car, this is a Chevy Cruze, which the emblem appears to be pretty flat, which should not be a problem. But on a Chevy Camaro, the emblem is slightly curved, which causes some uh, wrinkling in the vinyl when you go to apply it. So in the case of a Camaro, you would want to stretch the vinyl kind of up and down and side to side, kind of like this, to get all the air bubbles and all the creases out of from behind the vinyl. You just want to make sure you go over it really good with your thumb until all of the bubbles are out. Just like that. Now that all of the bubbles are out of the, from behind the vinyl and the vinyl is applied, you want to make sure it's down really well. So smooth it out really good with your hands. And then for the edges around the chrome part, what you want to do is either use your fingernail or use another type of plastic device. In my case, I have a squeegee, but in your case, you can use a credit card or something similar. And what you want to do is just go around the edges of the emblem, right where the little edge is for the chrome, and make sure that's seated really well. You don't have to push too hard, just enough to make sure that, that you have a good edge. And then also, the purpose of this is to make a kind of a template for where you're going to cut with your exacto. So. Okay, now I'm ready to cut with my exacto knife. So I'm going to start up in the corner, I'm going to poke in and just cut along the edge. And you have kind of a guide because there's a slight gap between the plastic part of the emblem and the chrome. Continue around all of the edges. Until I'm completely done. Now once all the sides have been cut, grab the vinyl, the spare from the sides, and slowly peel the vinyl out from 
away from the logo. In some cases, the corners may pull up slightly if you don't have a good cut, and you can just smooth those down your, with your finger, and you should be all set. Round. Set. Out. And there you have it. Nice black logo. And there you have it, your completed blacked out Chevy logo.